Well, hey gang, welcome to Daryl and Tents. We are here, my lovely bride and I, in uh, in Knob Noster State Park in Knob Noster, Missouri. How about that? That's where we're at. And uh, tonight we're just, we decided let's just slip away, uh, take a little holiday. And so we have, we just have one night here, but we're gonna try and do some kayaking in the morning. Tonight we're gonna put steak on the grill. We're gonna have baked potato salad. Oh my gosh, s'mores. It's just gonna be a great fall night in a state park with my bride. So I'm gonna get the fire started, then I'm gonna put the tent up, and then, uh, then we're gonna cook some dinner. I'm glad you're here. Okay, well, we've got, what, a couple of steaks? One steak, one chicken. One steak, one chicken. Great. Should I put the steak on? Sure. Like, it's not sizzling or cooking or anything, but maybe it's okay. See, I don't hear that sizzling either. Okay. It would appear that the steak and the chicken are too high off of the coals. So we're taking the foil from the baked potato, putting it directly on the coals, and then putting the uh, chicken and the steak on the foil. How about that? What's wrong with that? Theoretically, you could put either one of these just down on the coals and it will cook, but this will at least keep it from being gritty. Let's turn these and see what that does. Well, we're waiting for the chicken and the steak to uh, finish cooking, so we're gonna see how the potato and how the, how the salad is. Now, there's really no cooking a salad, but let me make sure that we cooked it well. Mmm, mmm, it's a little cold. The baked potatoes were cooked a week ago. Is that right? Five days ago. Cooked five days ago, put in the refrigerator, brought out, wrapped in foil, put on the coals. Just put them directly on the coals, rotated it every 10 minutes or so. Perfect. Just the way you'd want a baked potato. How are the green beans? Great. Are they warm? Mm-hmm. Let's put the can of green beans. Now feel free to comment and tell me all the reasons why I shouldn't or why I should. <laughs> Put the green beans directly on the uh, on the on the grill on the grate. All right. Gosh, I wish I had some for you, but we just didn't bring enough food. Yeah, they're perfect. They're perfect. Okay. Well, here's what we got. We've got chicken that is absolutely done. How's it taste? Great. Great. Okay. Good. And then we've got uh, medium. We wanted a medium steak. By golly, we got a medium steak. Not even medium rare. So there you go. So far, so good. All right, let me let me let me take a bite here. Let's see what we got here. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to leave you hanging. Let's just see what we've got here. 
All right. Here's what. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Do I have something in my teeth? Wow. What did you marinate that in, my love? Heinz 57, A1, liquid smoke, and steak seasoning. And how long did you marinate it? Mm, probably six hours. Which was just the right amount of time. All right, we're going to finish dinner, and then we're going to sit around the campfire and tell stories. So, Tammy, how many times have you camped out in your life? Oh gosh, I don't know. How many campouts, how many nights in your life have you slept in a tent? Well, they've all been with you, so let's see. <laughs> how many would that be? I don't, I don't know. I, we, Six you know, or when seven? The kids were little one. once. And then 36 years later, this year, oh, yeah, probably four or five times. Four or five times. And it's, rev it's revolutionized your life, hasn't it? Sure has. <laughs> <laughs> you have stayed in some national park lodges. That I enjoyed. 30 days, 10 national parks, stayed in national all national park lodges. They were wonderful. Yeah, you have got some kind of life. Look, Look at the raccoon. Okay, not okay with me. Mm -hmm. I hate to ask the obvious, but why do you think the fire's doing so good? <laughs> it will. Okay. Yeah, it's going to woof in a minute. Very, very soon. What are you making? S'mores with Snickers candy bar. S'mores with Snickers candy bar. Do you like your marshmallows burned a little bit? Whatever you want to do, you're making I like mine burned. I like them however you make them. You got your candy bar? Mm -hmm. So I'm taking two marshmallows. Huh. I'd be hot. Alright. I'm going to take the Snickers bar. You want me to help? Cut it in half. Yes, please. Here we go. Give it to me. You want half or a third? A third would be great. Well, it's going to be more like a half, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Whoa. All right. Snickers bar. Snickers bar. Marshmallows. Graham crackers. How about that? Now, let's give this a shot and see what we got. There's a lot going on there. It's very, very good. Very, very good. Any candy bar you want on a small. Yep. Well, Snickers works. That's pretty darn good. Reese's peanut butter cup would be good. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. Good. Thank you. We've got a great fire going, and we're going to walk up to the shower house and see what that's like tonight. Okay, well, this is uh, what the shower house looks like. You can hear the vents and the fans working. You've got the restrooms on one side of the building, and on the other side of the building are the showers. Now, I'm not going to take you in at night into either the showers or the bathroom, because that would be uh, that would just be wrong. But, yeah, this is what it's like, and it's... Uh, you know what, I find the Missouri State Parks are all very consistently good. So, uh, there you go. And trust me, my wife is kind of a, she's kind of a bathroom shower house diva, okay? So if she gives the okie dokie, it's because it meets a very high threshold. So, there you go. Well, my lovely bride is about to call it a night, and I'm going to go ahead and wind down as well. We are here in the... Uh, 
Six man tent where two people are extremely comfortable. One man, one woman, extremely comfortable. Not six men, but uh, very functional uh, for sure. So uh, we're going to call it a night. And hey, we're going either kayaking tomorrow or hiking, depending on whether or not we can be one of the first couples of the four that are able to rent kayaks. So we'll find out at 9 a.m. Good night. Talk to you in the morning. Okay, well, listen, we're hearing uh, rain, we're hearing thunder, and so uh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going to tear everything down, load it up in the car, just in case we, we can beat the rain. Uh, we're going to go to breakfast, and then we're going to reevaluate hiking and kayaking. So, revision in plans based on an unexpected thunderstorm. So, uh, we're going to see what happens, and, and I'll keep you posted as the morning progresses. All right, well, we've got the campsite torn down. Look at that, I mean, leave no trace, right? Leave no trace. This guy right there just uh, bomb-proofed his tent with uh, by tacking in uh, the stakes to uh, completely put on his rain fly. These folks over there are, are pulling out, and this guy down here actually just got up to go to the bathroom. So there you go, that's what we got going. We're gonna go find a restaurant. We're gonna find a breakfast place and reevaluate. You hear the thunder? Yeah, so we're gonna go figure out what's next. Well, so I just finished filming and uh, just shut the camera off, got in the car, backed it out of the camping space and there's raindrops just now starting to come on the windshield, so. Perfect timing. You know, my lovely bride is a much, uh, it, it, as it turns out, she's a good hand, and uh, two people are, are better than one. That's what, that's what I've learned this morning. We got in the car, and we're headed to Warrensburg, where there's a great little diner there, and uh, got on the highway, and lo and behold, look what we found. Another new day. We got a rainbow. God promised he'll never flood the earth again. I'm good with that. Okay, we've got two rainbows. Okay, well, Yelp says that Mary Jane's Cafe is the place for breakfast and lunch and even dinner. We're gonna give the breakfast a shot this morning and I'll, I'll keep you posted. What'd you get there? Egg white omelet with vegetables, potatoes, and dry toast. How about that? And I got uh, everything with liquid, wet, buttery, everything, including the half order of biscuits and gravy, two over easy eggs, bacon, and toast. I think I like it here at the Mary Jane Cafe. Good. Is it? Very. All right, I'm gonna try the biscuits and gravy. Good looking biscuits and gravy. Nothing like hometown cooking. Well, you know what? Mary Jane's Cafe was worth your time if you're ever in uh, Warrensburg, Missouri. Now here's here's the dilemma. Our campground and lake at Knob Noster is that direction. And you can see it's clear, thank God. Here's the problem. That is headed this way. And it is headed this way and uh, not supposed to be finished until 11 a.m., which is actually three hours from now. So we're gonna sit around Knob Noster and twiddle our thumbs, or because it's my lovely bride, I'm gonna start our way back home. We've got about a two hour drive if we push it, and uh, we're gonna take it slow and easy and stop off at about any shop that she wants to stop off on. So there you go, that's the plan. So we're gonna shut this thing down. Uh, I uh, really appreciate you uh, watching and being a part of this. I'm just having a ball, I really am, uh, from week to week with all the videos. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. If you don't care for it, I can certainly understand. Click the thumbs down, but really thumbs up really helps me a lot more. Uh, and if you like the channel, right, then subscribe to the channel. Free subscription, but it really does uh, really does help me, uh, help me grow the channel. So that's what I got. I'll uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. God bless.